Do you know, over the past few years, DevOps has emerged as a new tech culture and a career that enforces the rapid iteration desired by today's software development needs with the concrete stability of the infrastructure operation teams. Now, for system administrator, operations engineer, QAs, devs, or anyone else with the strong systems and software background, there's perhaps no better time than the present to transition into DevOps. Now, even today, there are currently thousands of LinkedIn DevOps job listing in India, United States, or any other country. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most important thing, which is how you can ace any DevOps interview. So, hey folks, my name is Ravish, and welcome back to my channel, Logic Ops Lab. Now, today, the topics that I'm going to discuss is the basics of how you can prepare to ace any interview. So, stay tuned till the end of this video. Kindly like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends or DevOps folks or anyone with whom you think this video would be helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I won't be wasting any time and directly jump into this. So the first thing that we are going to discuss is instructions. So generally what happens is, uh, let me select a, yeah, instructions that we are going to talk about. So what do you mean by instructions over here? This is something that is given from an organization to a person who is taking your interview. So what are the parameters that they will judge you on? So first would be your communication skills. So I'm not going to write complete. This is your communication skills. This is something he is going to, or she is going to judge you on. Uh, the second thing is how clearly you can explain a problem. So how clear you are in explaining the problem. So that, that would be the direct one. Uh, they have given you a problem and uh, uh, how easily you can understand it, how easily you can explain the solution. So how clear you are. So this would be the uh, second thing. And then the complexity part. So the complexity means that uh, I'll give you an example. So for example, if there is one plus one equal to two, that's that's not very, very complex thing. And then when it when it comes to uh, drawing the architecture of a of an organization, it's very complex. So on a scale of like creating an EC2 instance to creating the architecture of the for the organization, there is a complexity level that is associated with everything, right? So on the complexity level that how complex the person can answer the questions. Okay, so this is the third part in which you will be judged. And the fourth thing that I remember is uh, how much you make met with the ex expectation. So uh, I'll write expectation, expectation match. So uh, uh, how how does that how is that relevant expectation match? For example, we are looking for something with ten skills. Okay, so uh, now every person cannot know everything. All right, and this is something that everyone knows. So even if you match 70% or 80% of the criteria, 70 to 80% of the criteria, people will cut you some slack and then they can accept you in their organization. But it totally depends on companies to companies. If you're comparing Google with uh, something that is not that stringent because uh, the people who goes to Google, it's like the process is very tiring and cruel, not cruel, uh, the process is very grueling kind of a thing. They'll grill you, they'll uh, ask you, a lot of questions they'll ask you uh, every scenario and then they'll grill you a lot basically and in a few companies that is not much stringent so that is one thing that you need to know that a few companies can what i have seen in my interviews that if you even answer every seven questions out of ten questions you will be selected and there is a higher chance not hundred percent but there is a higher chance of you getting selected okay so these are the four things that you will be judged upon so i'll mark this in red so this is the judging part okay judgment i'll write judgment so if i'll take an interview for someone i'll judge on these three things these four things basically okay so uh, the next part let's talk about the uh, let's take an example so that you can understand it so the second topic that i'm going to discuss is consider a scenario so i'll be talking everything related to a scenario okay so let's say the duration is 60 minutes okay so the interview duration is 60 minutes and first of all generally what someone will do is they'll ask you the introduction part so you need to know the good intro so that's that's one thing that you need to know 
and then the project discussion so project discussion means uh project discussion is something like that whatever you are doing in your organization what you have you done till yet how many projects you have worked on on site off site or anything that related to poc or something so this is going to be discussed so this is clearly somewhere close to 10 minutes and this is how it's distributed uh, in in a lot of companies and these things can differ depending on the need and depending on the technological stack but mostly it's 10 minutes not more than that the second part is the problem solving now this problem solving part let me just write it problem solving so uh, problem solving is mostly related to 35 to 40 minutes and this is the place where you are judged mostly so i want you to do everything in a perfect manner but let's see every the first impression uh, is la is the last impression kind of a thing so if you give a good intro then they get hooked up upon you and within 5 to 10 minutes they understand that whether a person is quite confident or not so sound confident is this part the introduction part and the project part so do a mock interview uh, of yourself watch your, watching yourself in the mirror and then asking question that whether everything is going all right or not and then you can improve so this is the first part and the second part the problem solving is the most important part 35 to 40 minutes so even if you screw up a bit in these first 10 minutes you can make up to the interview within the 35 to 40 minutes showing them your problem solving skills because there are a lot of people who are not very good in explaining the uh, like introduction project and and their project this can be improved but they are not and they can cover stuff in problem solving also i'm saying i'm not saying that you should screw up in something and you should do something good do good everything all right so problem solving part is 35 to 40 minutes so in this problem solving uh, they can ask you uh, giving you a problem that what a scenario is uh, what you can do is what have you done is how you would have done it differently uh, questions related to that okay so this is the most important part the third part uh, is mostly general conceptual questions so like concept basically see uh, so remaining time so i think that is close to 50 10 to 15 minutes i guess 10 to 15 minutes and depending on the conceptual question the tech tools and technologies and this depends i mean this can increase this can really increase how because uh, depending on the tools so for example we are looking for someone who needs to know like eight to ten tools so this concept part can increase okay for example uh, if i know uh, if i know a person that he he would be able to work on some stuff then i should need to ask him questions on ten tools so if if, if I'm talking about five five tools for every few minutes then it will definitely take 15 minutes right so depending on that but uh, not every interview does that every interviewer what they'll do is they'll ask uh, questions on like four to five technologies and the problem solving the scenario question comes in this line okay this is mostly the conceptual question for example i'll give you a scenario so if i ask someone uh, that uh, there is a carpooling company uh, and they want to move to uh, kubernetes uh, or from monolithic to uh, microservices architecture how kubernetes that helps them this comes under problem solving because you are trying to solve a problem and if i am saying create a static website uh, on s3 using s3 then this contain con comes under problem solving how you are solving this problem uh, make this uh, make this application up how will you do the application up uh, this comes under problem solving in the intro part is just knowing about you in the project part is knowing the project like uh, what exactly you have done the project and explaining the project and in the concepts wise is like uh, what is the use of docker uh, what is the use of uh, kubernetes uh, how uh, how is this useful in ansible so this is some kind of so i hope you got the drift okay so this is something uh, that you need to do now let us see uh, how these are evaluated so uh, i'll select something else this one turquoise so evaluation okay so how the evaluation happens and this is proven method i mean this is what i follow this is what a lot of people follow so generally what happens is uh interviewer will give you two to three minutes to settle down basically and uh, he'll ask you like how do you do what what where have you been did you have uh, did you go outside how was your weekend or something something like that to break the ice that that happens and uh, then they'll just move on to the project part uh, what exactly is the project and they'll validate the resume so basically whatever you have written uh, i'll just validate uh, in the resume okay this is something that you have done so i'll just validate the resume whether this person is speaking the truth because a lot of people what happens is i have seen the trend that they have around six to seven page of re re uh, resume six to seven page of resume and they can't even validate the two part okay 
two parts of it like two pages of it so that's that's really bad so they'll just validate the resume uh, talk about the roles and responsibilities this comes under roles and responsibilities this is what has been asked uh, the tech stack and stuff all these questions okay so this comes comes under the first part <clears throat> Uh, this is first the second which I talked about is problem solving uh, what happens in problem solving uh, we will judge on you uh, four parts now there are sub parts to it so first thing is understanding the question so understanding question uh, accurately and quickly so two things accurately and quickly uh, I hope I'm not I'll, I'll just move this out accurately and quickly means uh, how accurately you can understand like what exactly is the problem and how quickly you can give the solution so this is one thing uh, the other thing is uh, are you talking about the edge cases so uh, are you talking about the edge cases or not uh, in the problem scenario that's that's the one thing that people judge on and uh, time how how long you have taken like time and uh, this is more uh, related to time and space Time and space complexity means uh, that whether how easily you can solve. If you are an SRE or DevOps, people like ask questions on uh, programming. So they can evaluate on this parameter as well. That what is the time and space complexity. So this happens. Okay. And uh, the last part would be the last part uh, D is like something ability to find trade-offs for each approach for uh, like workarounds basically. That's 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 one thing. For example, uh, there are multiple ways to solve any problem, but uh, do you have a workaround for it? Sometimes something works, sometimes something does not work. And if you have to give, if you do not have any exact solution at that time, but you have a workaround for that, so you can do that. So this is something that people uh, judge you on. And okay, one more thing, like a lot of people must not know what exactly is edge case. So edge case is basically a problem or a situation that occurs only at extreme operating parameters. Uh, for example, let's take about a uh, stereo speaker and it might noticeably work, uh, but on when, when you increase the uh, volume, it might not work. Extreme edge case, like you are uh, maximum volume and it's not working. And in the absence of other extreme setting or not, I mean, there are four settings, bass, treble, volume. So you switch on the volume till the max, but you haven't touched the bass and treble, but still it's not working. So it's kind of an edge case. So this is something you can uh, Google about it. So these are the four things in the problem solving that people judge you on. All right, uh, I'll walk to the other point, which is the third point. Uh, third point is basically uh, your general concept. So we were talking about the general concepts, right? So uh, in general concept, uh, what exactly happened? Let me just scroll this. In general concept, what, what happens is, uh, if I'm talking about tools, so I'll be talking about uh, Terraform. Okay, I'll be talking about uh, uh, Pulumi, I'll be talking about AWS, I'll be talking about Azure, GCP or cloud in general, basically, or any programming uh, language or script that I'm talking about, I'll be talking about bash programming, I'll be talking about Python, PowerShell, anything, anything for that matter. So I'll be talking about the basic questions on this ranging on the experience level ranging on the complexity of the question. That's what I've been asking uh, since since I've taken interviews. So if I'm, I'll, I'll be asking uh, like how Terraform works or what is the idea behind it? Uh, how Pulumi works? What is this in AWS? What is this in Azure? What is this in GCP? How do you program something? How do you write a Fibonacci program in Python? How in Bash? So this is the general concept that we uh, we generally base, uh, take a, as a base to evaluate someone. Okay, on the basis of this, we take out some results and uh, so now the metrics that comes is something like this. We have five metrics, four to five metrics, depending on the company. So uh, like, let's say stars. So, so it ranges from five, four, three, two, one. And in the five star, like amazing candidate, amazing. I mean, great candidate. Uh, the other one is like proficient. So we'll mark them as a four star. Uh, other one is uh, knows, knows something well knows well and uh, like basic basic knowledge or starter basically starter or the last thing that we know is uh, just a beginner I mean no knowledge or no experience no experience or knowledge so these are the parameters that uh, that we generally use uh, when we uh, 
do uh, any kind of uh, interview or something okay so how do you ace this uh, you need to know uh, you need to work on the communication skill uh, you need to tell them how clear you are uh, you need to check whether uh, whether the expectation are matching or not this is how we'll uh, judge it and you need to do things comp uh, in 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 a fast manner in a quick manner uh, and understand the complexity of the interview and this is a scenario which we talked about uh, you have to have a good introduction be prepared have a good introduction make sure that you know things about your project that's very very important you have to have a problem solving attitude it does not matter whether you are a developer qa or something you need to solve a problem and you need to have an approach to solve it uh, it will take around 35 to 40 minutes or maybe more than that uh, this is just rough figures but mostly if we take 60 minutes interview this is what generally happens it can increase or decrease 5 plus minus 5 10 minutes and the concepts of the tool that you're applying for now in devops there is plethora of tools there are multiple tools so you need to know whatever you are writing in your resume is something that you can validate okay and evaluation happens like this you can write down all the points i know my writing is not up to the mark over there but you got the gist right uh how how the evaluation happens and the metrics how it is given so anything uh, uh above uh, let's say uh, let's say we have five things uh five topics and i have to judge the person so rating something like three four five two three is just fine i mean make sure you, you know it well proficient amazing make sure you do not come over this in our 10 technologies one or two is just fine for one or two but otherwise go for this three four and five and you should know it well or proficient or amazing depending on your need all right so uh, i hope uh, you guys have understood like what exactly i wanted to explain how you can ace the interview how what are the things that you need to know and whatever tools we are talking about you can pick all those tools and put in some sort of bucket and how will you do it all right so i hope everything is clear to you folks if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one